Let's take a look at probability. Now, probability can be expressed on a probability scale from zero to one. Zero is the event is completely impossible and one means it is 100% definite. If something is a 50-50 chance, like throwing a coin and it landing on heads, then that's an equal chance. So that would be 0 0.5 or one half. As we go to the right, that means the likelihood is increasingly likely. And as we go to the right, going towards zero, that means the uh, probability of it happening is decreasingly likely. So we can express things on this scale. So for example, if we said, what is the probability that it rains um, on one at least one day in December in the UK? Well, that is not 100% certain but it's pretty close to certain. So you could express that by putting an X on the line close to one. What's the probability of throwing a heads on a coin? Well, that is an equal chance, equal chance of heads or tails. So that would be this point here. Uh, what's the probability of it snowing in August in um, the UK? Well, it's not completely impossible, but it's extremely unlikely. So you'd put an X somewhere here. So, you know, there's no exact spot for something that is almost impossible or almost certain, you know, just somewhere in this kind of area is probably absolutely fine because you can't put a precise number on the probability of it um, snowing in August in the UK, but it's pretty close to impossible, but not entirely impossible. Now to calculate a probability, all we need to do is work out the number of times or the number of ways an event can occur divided by the uh, number of possible outcomes. Now this might seem a bit of a complicated way of describing it, but it's dead easy when you see it in practice. So let's look at an example. What's the probability of a die landing on an even number? Well, a die can land on a one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six possible outcomes. So that's gonna be out of six. And what's the number of ways the event can occur? Well, how many even numbers are there? Well, this could land on a two, could land on a four, or it could land on a six. So that is therefore a probability of three out of six, and that can be simplified to one out of two. Although an easier way of, of seeing this is the, the numbers are either even or odd, and there's the same number of even or odd, so the probability is one out of two, a half. What's the probability of tossing a coin and it lands on heads? Well, there's only two outcomes, heads or tails. So there's only one way it can land on heads, which is obviously by throwing a head. So one out of two, half. What's the probability of selecting a red card in a pack of cards? Well, the cards are either red or black. So that's one out of the total two colors. In a pack of cards, there are four suits, diamonds, hearts, spades, and clubs. So out of the four suits, how many of them are diamonds? Just the one, so that is one quarter. Uh, a picture card, well, my understanding of a picture card is either the jack, the queen, or the king, not the ace. So in a pack of cards, there are there's a jack and a queen and a king for each suit, and there are four suits. So therefore there's one, two, three times four. So that is 12 cards out of a total number of 52 cards. And this can be simplified to six over 26, which can be simplified again to three out of 13. So the probability is three thirteenths. Don't worry about the picture card or, or even the diamonds. Um, they don't expect you to be experts on uh, decks of cards, but uh, you are expected to understand dice and uh, that a coin can land either on heads or tails.